Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Motorcycle Maintenance Channel. Today we have our R3 motorcycle that was a, recover, a recovered stolen motorcycle. And we're going to show you how to change out the ignition switch because what commonly happens when motorcycles get stolen is they mess up the ignition switch trying to hot wire it or force something inside it. And I'm going to show you how to replace that. So we're going to take the seat off. There is only one screw on it, but I mean, as you can see, most of these fairing screws are missing from whoever had this before. And we will disconnect the negative battery cable. We have to loosen up the bolts that hold the clip-ons on and the triple tree clip bolts. So this will be our clip-on bolt. It doesn't have to be all the way loose because it's just a pinch bolt. And then we'll do the triple tree clamp bolt. Come over here to this side. They don't have to come all the way out because they just kind of pinch it. Pinch bolt will come this way. Do this bolt here as well. There we go. We loosened all our pinch bolts. And we just got to take this little cap off the top there because we're going to have to loosen that bolt as well. And that one as well. Just to reiterate, these pinch bolts here are six millimeter Allen key. And these is a five millimeter Allen key. There we go. That clip on is off. And just so we don't lose this, we're gonna put him back right right back where he goes so we know where we got it. Alright, we got the other clip on off. And we're gonna have to replace this one anyway, so I might just leave him off for later since it's bent kinda like a banana. Alright, you got our breaker bar on here so this will help get it some more leverage on this bolt there we go and it's not that it's on here that hard either but i have a couple broken ribs from a motorcycle incident <laughs> so it's kind of hard for me to uh put my full strength into it all right take this off and Raise up the triple tree clamp. There we go. All right. Take these wires out. Cables. Okay. So they have these safety screws that make it hard for you to steal a motorcycle. And they, what happens is they break off after you install them. They go right here underneath. So what we have to do is we have to drill them out. And that is going to take a lot more effort. But it's supposed to because they don't want to make it easy for you to steal a motorcycle. All right, guys, so I started drilling it while it was on here, but that is not, I didn't like the way that we were going about it. So I'm going to take this thing off so that I can separate it from the wiring harness and then we'll drill it at a more convenient location. There we go, a yeah, much, much cleaner operation like this. I'm going to have to drill these out or I might dremel them. And the reason all I had to do was take this one bolt out from the wiring harness is because um, they had already broken this when they tried to hot wire it. But if this, if I was just simply switching keys on it, I would have had to use some two Torx uh, adapters and taken, taken these things off uh, and then taken that out. But they'd broken that 
uh, trying to hot wire it, so all I had to do is take this off to separate it from the rest of the wires. All right, so back to taking this thing off. This is when I'd like to tell you guys how horrible motorcycle thieves are. My God, this is horrible. We'll just try it like this right now. If this doesn't work, we'll go back to the traditional method of drilling it. Ah. <laughs> See all that fucking Loctite they put on there. All right, guys, you guys saw me struggle taking out those security bolts. And as you can see, I went about it with various different techniques from using a vice grip to a Dremel to a drill. Um, now we're gonna go to putting it back together. We have our new ignition lock right here. We're gonna put it into the top of our triple tree. Now, if you're doing this to your own R3 that you care a lot about, what you're gonna wanna do is use your own security bolts and um, some blue Loctite. We're gonna use these. I know it's not gonna, you know, if a thief got underneath your bike, it'll be easier for him to take these out, but it's just gonna be our little secret between us. So we're just gonna stick those in there. They'll work just fine. But like I said, if you wanna do it by the book, you're gonna go get the security bolts from Yamaha and some blue Loctite, and you're gonna put it in there. I mean, what, what's the odds this, this motorcycle gets stolen twice, right? <laughs> and at the end of the day, they're just going to do the same process I showed you and change it out. This will just make it easier for them. But we're not going to tell them about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these generic motorcycle bolts. There we go. Make them nice and tight. And no one will ever know about it. Okay, and that's going to go right back on top. But before we do that, we need to unplug, well, the remainder of the ignition lock that's left on it. This is the bottom part of the ignition cable here. Take that off. Take, separate this from the rest of the wires. And we need to follow it back to where it's plugged in. Remove this panel here. using force. There's a bolt right up here. I don't know if you can get a shot of that cover. Right in the center of the gas tank cover. One over here. Yeah, looks like we'll have to remove the gas tank as well. Ah, and there she is. Lo and behold, we found it, which I guess is why motorcycle thieves just jam screwdrivers in there, because who would want to do all of this? We got, we found it, we traced it back, 
and it's way here underneath the gas tank which like I said before this is why motorcycle thieves just stick a jam a screwdriver in there they don't really care about making it look nice we do though so let's see how are we gonna get her off I need a flathead screwdriver to help out Got her. All right, guys. So we got the other ignition cable unplugged and we're gonna plug this one back in. I'm just gonna hold it right here for right now. It's not how it goes or where it goes, just as a holder. Uh, we're gonna feed the wire through here with all the other wires through the wiring harness. Try not to bind them too much. And through here, which is this thing kind of held them in place. All right, come underneath the chassis. Basically, we want to feed it the same way the other one came out. Okay, there we go, underneath the chassis, pull it tight. And then we're going to plug it right back in here, just like how the other one was plugged. In the same spot. And there it is. Just like that. We're gonna make sure it's good in there good and tight because we don't want to come back and do this again. Tuck in those little parts. Right by whatever diodes those are. We're gonna remove our duct tape block and proceed to bolt the gas tank back into place. Take our 10 millimeter screws, tighten it up. Take this guy off. Take this one off. And we want to clip our wiring harness back on here. We need a four Allen key. So there's four Allen key. That will feed our throttle cables back through here. We got some 
some more cables to feed through these little ones here. There we go. Take out these bolts, which are five Allen keys. Let's get a little. Little love tap. And really no need to put this clip on back on. But I'm just gonna lightly put it on there because as you can see it's bent like a banana. So I'm just gonna loosely put the clip-ons back on because we're gonna have another episode where we're gonna have to take these clip offs clip-ons off again um, to replace them. And we'll show you guys how, how to put on the clip-ons, how to dismantle all this stuff, and then put it back on again. Um, this one too, because the clutch assembly is broke. But that, stay tuned for that one. That'll be next. We're just going to put these on right now. Show you how to put on the ignition lock. After that, we're going to put on these little caps. Like that. Okay. And then this... It's a triple tree nut. We're going to put that on. This is a 22 millimeter socket to tighten that up. And it's going to be at about 100 pounds of torque. Now, if you guys want to tune in and, and tell us, you know, your own tricks of the tray, leave comments on the channel. We definitely want to hear that because we always want to improve here at Motorcycle Maintenance Channel. We are not above getting comments and and helpful tips from our viewers um, you might teach us something and then the people who look in the comments you know they can see um, your your own tips and tricks to help out the the r3 community and we're going to do 70 foot pounds 70 foot pounds of torque should be good for that top nut like i said this stuff is going to come off again in our later episodes we just want to show you guys how to replace your ignition lock, which I think we did a good job of. Stay out of the grease, everybody.